Thank you for joining Simply Cooking with Sean, where the content on this channel is centered around food. So if you're a lover of food, you're in the right place. So like, share, and subscribe. And when you do, click that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. In today's video, I will be preparing chicken pot pie. So get ready for the list of ingredients. The ingredients for today's recipe are pre-made pie crust, rotisserie chicken, mixed vegetables, cream of chicken soup, onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. Come along and I'll show you how I put this together. The first thing I'm gonna do is to remove the chicken from the bone and tear it into pieces. This is an excellent recipe to get rid of any uh, leftover chicken that you might have, or you can cook the chicken fresh. This recipe is great for those individuals who might be on the go a lot. So whether you are a mom or dad that are engaged with your children in sports and extracurricular activities, or perhaps life just keeps you busy and you don't have a lot of time to devote to your meal prep. So as I mentioned earlier, I am using a rotisserie chicken. This is not a chicken that I cooked myself. I bought this from the store already prepared. So if you decide to make this recipe and you don't have any leftover chicken, feel free to just run to your local grocery store and purchase a rotisserie chicken. It works just fine. I purchased a rotisserie chicken quite often and it makes for a quick and easy meal i tend to pair it with steamed vegetables and i'll even use it as a protein in my salads in fact as i am removing the chicken away from the bone you see me leave a little bit of the breast meat on the plate and push it to the side because I will be utilizing that to make one of my love salads. And speaking of a love salad, I actually have a video titled How to Make a Love Salad. And I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. I encourage you to give it a view if you're looking for a quick and easy meal prep. And also when you view it, you'll understand why I call it the love salad. I've got my meat all torn into pieces. The next step is to empty the entire can of cream of chicken soup into my pan here. And this is a 10.5 ounce can of cream of chicken soup. So I just pour that right in. And then I'm gonna fill the can about three fourths of the way with water. Okay, that's about three fourths of the can. I'm just gonna pour that in. And with my whisk, I'll incorporate the water with the soup. I'm gonna let that heat up. Give it a taste. I'm gonna add a little seasoning of garlic powder, onion powder, and a little black pepper. Just gonna do a dash of the seasoning salt. Whisk that in. And it was a little soup remaining in the bottom of the can, so I added a little bit more water just to get all of the contents of the can emptied into the pot here. So that's probably a couple tablespoons of water. Now I'll let that come to a simmer. Now that the cream of chicken soup has come to a simmer, I'm going to add the mixed vegetables. And this is a 10 ounce bag of mixed vegetables that I am using. So I'm gonna let that come to a simmer. Now that I've added the vegetables, 
started to simmer. And so now I'm gonna add in the chicken. Just pour that right on in. And I'm gonna stir that in to get it all nice and incorporated together. Just let that heat the chicken up. While the filling for the pot pie is finishing up, I'm gonna prepare my dish with the pie crust. And as you can see, this is a small dish. This is an 8.2 by 8.2 inch dish that I am using. And this is a nine inch pie crust that I'm using. So in the package here are two crusts. I have some cooking spray. I'm just gonna spray my dish here. Remove one of the crusts from the package. I rolled it out and I'm just gonna place it inside of my dish here. Come up on the sides. And so I'm gonna crack an egg. I'm gonna whisk it with my fork. Set that right there. And so my filling is all heated through. And so I'm gonna empty the contents of the pan here into the dish right on top of the pie crust. I'm gonna spread that evenly. So I'm gonna take my second crust and unroll that. And I'm gonna add it right onto the top here. All right, so I'm gonna just fold it in and press it up against the bottom crust. Folded it in, and I'll just overlap where it needs to be overlapped, and then I'll press in where it needs to be pressed in, like in the corners here. All right. So to the top of this, I'm just gonna brush it with the egg that I've scrambled up. And this is gonna help the top to get nice and brown. And here you see me cutting a few slits into the top crust, and that's just to allow it to vent. Then it's off to the oven that I had preheating to 425 degrees. I will let this bake for about 30 minutes or until the crust is gotten nice and golden brown. It's been about 30 minutes or so since the pie pie has been in the oven. As you can see, the filling is bubbling on the side there and it's got a nice, beautiful color. So I would say that this is all ready to come out. After taking it out of the oven, I'm gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes. After being out of the oven for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna let you see what it looks like on the inside. The crust is nice and flaky. Mm. Get that nice crust. Put it on my plate here. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This came out really well. It was a quick and easy recipe to prepare. It took about an hour from start to finish. You can pre-make this and put it in your refrigerator. And when you come home, you can just run it in the oven for about 30 minutes. 
So I do encourage you to give this recipe a try. And I will leave a list of ingredients in the description box below, as well as the link to the love salad video. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be blessed.